Grace and peace to you on this Sunday morning. We recognize that we gather on the traditional lands and water properties that are the ancestral homelands of indigenous people who have been here since long before the first settlers and colonizers arrived. So we would like to invite you to think of the people uh, right now and acknowledge who are the peoples of your area and remember their love, care to the land. And it is my pleasure to extend a very welcome to all who have gathered for worship today and to say a particular welcome to those of you who may be visitors in our midst and perhaps seekers or someone looking for the right of our lives. And we are glad that you are with us today. And to any of our United Church folks, community faith, I say a very sincere word of welcome. It is wonderful to be in worship together through our online service this morning. So we welcome to all. Please feel free to share this worship resource to your families and friends in your community. And I would like to say a word of special thanks to those who are taking part in our worship today to the AHM, Asian Heritage Month folks, and worship planning team that is leading the worship today. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen abunu matu mas keng de khani Tayo po'y manalangin. Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat, na siyang gumagawa at bumabago, ikaw na siyang naroon na sa simula pa lamang ng panahon. Ikaw na ang kabag at awa ay sumasangkot sa daloy ng aming kasaysayan. Ikaw na ang siyang kapangyarihan ay patuloy na humahamon sa aming mga nakalisnan at komportable ng paniniwala. Itinataas po namin ang inyong pangalan sa aming kalagitnaan. Nagmula po kami sa iba't ibang dako na mayroong iba't ibang karanasan, nagsasalita ng iba't ibang wika at tumaawit ng iba't ibang awit mula sa aming pinagbuwang. Ngunit ikaw ang aming Diyos ang humibiki sa amin sa pamamagitan ng iyong pag-ibig at kapangyarihan. Salamat po sa inyong presensya sa aming kalagitnaan. Pinapasalamatan ka din po namin sa inyong pag-ibig at grasya na itinutulot mo sa amin. Na siya humihimok sa amin upang mahalin din naman namin ang iba. At upang igawan ang kapatawaran sa mga taong nagkamali sa amin. Nawa o Diyos, ang pagsabang ito ay maging pagkakataon upang maranasan at matanggap namin ang kagalingan sa aming bagbag na katawan at kaluluwa. Nalalaman namin na kami ay nabubuhay sa pinagpirapirasong salimutan kung saan ang galit at kawalan ng hustisya ang namamayan. Nadidinig namin sa bawat araw ang mga balita ng diskriminasyon at ang mga daing dahil sa kailangan. Nawa, sa pagsambang ito ay mapanaulihin namin ang aming pangako na tumindig bilang katawan ni Kristo sa gitna ng basag na sandigitan. Gabayan niyo po kami, Espiritu ng Karunungan, sa aming paglaban upang makamit ang pagkapatay-patay ng lahat. Ibukas niyo po ang aming puso at isipan ngayon sa pagtanggap namin ng, mga salit, ng inyong mga salita. Punuin kami na wanito ng pag-asa at hapan at bigyang kalakasan kami upang gawin ang inyong mga ministeryo. Alangin namin o Diyos na katulad noong unang panahon sa Biblia na ngayon ay ibubuhos niyo po sa aming kalagitnaan ang inyong Espiritu upang matapang na maihayag namin ang inyong kalooban at ang magandang balita ng kaligtasan na siyang bumabago sa sandibutan ko. Na makita namin na bumabagsak ang mga panalo at itinataas mo ang mga may mababang kalagayan. 
at ang mga nagubuto ay makakain. Samantala ang mga mayayaman ay liliban ng walang anuman. Samahan niyo po kami sa aming pagsamba at sa mga darating na ako. Ito po ang aming panalangin sa matamis na pangalan ng aming Panginoon at tagapagigkas na si Yesus.《使徒行传》第二章一至十三节，五旬节到了，门徒都聚集在一处。忽然从天上有响声下来，好像一阵大风吹过，充满了他们所坐的屋子。又有舌头如火焰显现出来，分开落在他们各人头上。他们就被圣灵充满，按着圣灵所赐的口才说起别国的话来。那时有虔诚的犹太人从天上各国来，住在耶路撒冷。那声音一响，众人都来聚集。各人听见门徒用众人的乡谈说话，都甚纳闷，都惊讶希奇说：看那、啊、这说话的，不都是加利利人吗？我们各人怎么听见他们说我们来生所用的乡谈呢？我们帕提亚人、马代人。以兰人和住在米索波大米、犹太、加帕多加、本都、阿西亚、佛吕加、庞菲利亚、埃及的人，并靠近古内利的吕比亚一带地方的人，从罗马来的旅客中都是犹太人，或是进犹太教的人。格里底和阿布拉伯人都听见他们用我们的乡谈。讲说神的大作为，众人都惊讶差异，彼此说：这是什么意思呢？还有人讥诮说：他们无非是新酒灌满了。As a language geek, I love the Pentecost story. I love learning foreign languages. And constantly correct myself and others in grammar. I love the story of Pentecost because the Holy Spirit is manifested through disciples speaking different languages. As a language geek, I understand what it means to know a language. Or more than one. Learning a language is not only about a language, because one's language is an essential part of one's culture. Learning a language means learning a culture, and the beginning of understanding the people of that culture. The story of Pentecost is often compared to the story of the Tower of Babel, 
because both stories involve the division of languages. In the Babel story, the division of languages was meant to divide the people, to prevent them from uniting, getting more powerful from that union, and rebelling against God. On the other hand, the division of languages in the Pentecost story has an opposite meaning. It is meant to unite all God's people, no matter one's background. The first disciples spoke foreign languages that they did not know, which, to me, is an analogy of God's people reaching out to understand each other and unite under Christ in all their diversities. Unity through diversity is a holy paradox and the essence of being the people of Christ. Pentecost is when the gospel story of God incarnate becomes personal to all disciples. Through the coming of the Holy Spirit, God in Christ becomes incarnate in ordinary believers. Through this event, God in Christ becomes available to all believers. The fact that the coming of the Holy Spirit was manifested through the celebration of diverse languages teaches us that diversity is a quintessential part of the Christian church. This story teaches us that God celebrates all our different heritages, languages, and cultures, and that we are all equally valued in God's reign. It teaches us that we do not have to erase our identities to be God's people one universal way. In my Pentecost reflection, I am reminded of the melting pot ideology of the American society and the people who say, I don't see color, which sounds nice at a first glance, but is actually oppressive. It demands minorities to erase who they are to blend in. According to what I learned from the Canadian and the United Church of Canada history, isn't this what our forefathers and mothers tried to achieve? Didn't they try to establish a unified nation by taking away the First Nations children from their communities and a national church through founding of the United Church of Canada. The Pentecost story claims that the melting pot is wrong. We should not be a melting pot. Instead, we should be a salad where all the ingredients are visible and in harmony. Visible and in harmony may sound nice, but it is not an easy thing to achieve. We cannot become a salad unless we start to understand each other through learning about each other. This is why the Holy Spirit was manifested through the speaking of diverse languages. With this knowledge, 
We celebrate Asian heritages during this month. We celebrate God with all our different cultures and languages. Today, we are worshiping in different Asian languages. At the end of the service, you will receive a final blessing in different languages and feel like the crowd witnessing the first disciples speaking in different languages after receiving the Holy Spirit. We should celebrate God and our church families with the diverse gifts that we bring from the motherlands. Let us celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit and praise God because in the eyes of God, to quote a cosmetic company's catchphrase, we are worth it. We give thanks to God for this extraordinary event that gave birth to the Christian church. So happy birthday to us. And may the Holy Spirit be with you, you blessed and beloved people of God. Amen. My name is Reverend Kim Vidal, the minister at Bell's Corners United Church in Ottawa. I was born and raised in the Philippines and my family was affiliated in the Gupan City United Methodist Church where I became tremendously involved in many ways until 1994. Stewardship is an integral part of our worship service and we were encouraged to give generously, not only of our treasures and time, but also our gifts and talents. Today, we are grateful to have with us the vested choir from my home congregation in the Philippines who will share their gifts of music. They will render an offertory song called Dakilang Katapatan, which in English means great faithfulness. This is a song composed by a gifted Filipino composer, Mr. Arnel Dipano. Friends, please welcome the Dagupan City First United Methodist Church Vested Choir in the Philippines under the direction of Mrs. Eloisa David Dayandante with the technical assistance of Mr. Noel Kitlong.
愛する神様私たちはあなたの教会が誕生するように精霊の賜物をお送りになられたことを感謝します私たちは私たちの歩みと教会の歩みの中で私たちを導かれる精霊に感謝します私たちは私たちの多様性の中で私たちを結ばれるあなたの精霊に感謝します最初の弟子たちが精霊を受けた後違う言葉で話したようにお互いが違う背景を持ちながらもお互いのことをもっと知り理解できるようにしてください精霊が私たちの多様性を通して一致をもたらし私たちがこの世界に派遣されあなたのすべての民ことに軽んじられている人々を歓迎し受け入れる教会となりますように私たちが私たちの生き様をもってあなたの無条件で分け隔てとない愛の知らせを伝えられますように私たちが私たちの社会においてアジアンの遺産を祝う月を迎えるとき私たちは偏見によって起こる犯罪と差別と人種差別を受けているあなたの子供であるアジア人を心に留めます私たちは低賃金で働かされているアジア人少女と女性たちを心に留めます神様の愛を私たちを守り慈悲をお与えください神様あなたの子供であるアジア人と少数民族の子供たちを人,数人種差別によって負わされる心と体に体の傷からお守りください神様あなたの子供である白人たちを白人優越主義と人種に対する偏見による危険性からお守りくださいどうか私たちを愛と平等であるあなたの精霊によって一つとならせてくださいしばらくアジア人人種差別反対による犠牲者たちと人種差別犯罪による犠牲者たちを覚えて黙祷の時を持ちます黙祷をいたします私たちはこれらのすべての祈りをこの世に力が満ちておられるキリストの名によって唯一の神様にお捧げいたします。アーメン
God of power, may the boldness of your spirit transform us. May the gentleness of your spirit lead us. May the gifts of your spirit equip us to serve and worship you now and always. Amen. 全能的主 우리를 인도하여 주옵소서. 성령의 은사가 오늘 우리로 하여금 영원히 주님을 섬기고 예배하게 하옵소서. 아멘. Awa io so bendicion na katawan. Makapanyarin Dios mi umanen kami kumon na pakayari espirito. Sai mauyamon espirito yo iwanwan tu kami. Sa ilangkap na espiritu yo, ikanato kami manlingkor tan mangigalang. At si kayo, natan ya anggad angga. Amen. Sa maktuang siya tama dekanin tu tamasat, singkadaydat, jen insul, ami magmaluskun nun. Maluskun tan tinitini tu tesan, misilopaku, sukabas kabas. Amen. あなたの聖霊の大胆さによって私たちを変えてくださいあなたの聖霊の寛大さによって私たちを導いてくださいあなたの聖霊の賜物によって私たちを整えてくださいそして今いつもあなたに使え Amen.